Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, ticket symbol HCMC. You can see the price of HCMC has been dropping recently. So in this video, I'm going to cover, you know, about what's going to happen with the lawsuit, what um, it's going to, what it means, you know, and about what I think the price is going to happen for the next few weeks, the projection of the price, and where I think if it's a good opportunity to buy more, or if you sh should sell your HCMC. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing I want to kind of look at, it's pretty much um, just a recap on what's happening for those who don't know. So, um, you know, we can go from the beginning. The company previously filed a patent infringement lawsuit against Philip Morris. And Philip Morris, um, against their product known as IQOS, the lawsuit was brought um, based on IQOS infringement on the patent, which is HMT's patent. And recently... Um, Philip Morris Products um, filed a petition with the Patent Trial and Appeal Board of the U.S. Patent and Trademark. So the PTAB is that Patent Trial and Appeal Board. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office seeking to institute interparts review proceedings to invalidate healthier choices management U.S. patent. And so what P Philip Morris is trying to do is ask for the validity of HCMC's patent. They're trying to ask if um, that patent is valid or not and how can they you know how can the PTAP how can the patent and trademark office um you know prove it and just kind of invalidate it is if they find a previous patent that has been made so before HCMC's patent was made that has you know um similarities now these similarities you know I can't tell you I am not again in my previous video I said I, I do not study any you know patent laws and so it's up to the office to see you know what sort of similarities they're looking for and then for them to give their final decisions and that is what's happening right now for those who don't know and you know this could take a very long time um you can obviously see here so then within one year of the institution of um the p table if you a final written decision as to the validity of some or all of the claims in the pattern um so this um is going to take very long so this is very important for those who guys who understand so you know i'm just going to read it out again within three months of the company's um preliminary response or six months from acceptance of philip Mar um, the pm ipr petition the ptab ptab will decide um whether to institute or deny the ipr proceedings if the ptab institute ipr proceedings um then within one year of institution, the PTAB will issue a final written um, decision as to the validity of some of the claims in the patent. So, you know, this could take a year and a half. So this is what pretty much this um, paragraph, this sentence is trying to say. You know, they're going to have to go through um, stages and for the first three to obviously six months, they're going to give um, a response whether or not that the PTAB, you know, will go with this, wherever they will try to actually validate the pattern. So we have to wait for this. And, you know, if they do decide to um, go on with the process, then it may even take a year for them to give a final decision. So this is very important. So I want you guys to understand that, you know, this is going to take a year and a half because this is important later on in the video as I talk about, you know, the price. And here, Jeff Holman, and he's the CEO. HMC is currently uh, reviewing Philip Morris IPR petitions and intensive vigorously um, opposed the institution of the IPR proceedings and if the IPR proceedings are instituted we are now fully prepared to vigorously defend the validity of the patent so obviously the CEO is saying you know there is nothing to be worried about they are very strongly you know confident in their companies they have all the you know stuff they need and for those of you who obviously understand recently it seems that they've raised uh, they raised about 27 million dollars and you know this is actually a very good time for the for the money to come in because with this money they will obviously have a, a better team and you know this will help them further to defend against um this lawsuit so this is very important and you know before we go kind of with the price action and everything else i'm going to talk about you know why i said what i said was important and how it relates to the current price so since um the day of since being mentioned you know i mentioned on the 15th and you can obviously see the price tanking out of the 0 0.014 range now i did say that you know the only time we're going to be seeing it breaking out of the range right now is if we see any fundamental catalyst whether that's good or bad right now it is bad however it's only bad in one sense i think overall is a very good thing and i also explained that so i'm going to explain why you know i personally think that this is obviously bad news so 
with um you know this whole thing that is going on with it taking you know a year a half a year and a half possibly this will delay the process further on a lot of people who are invested into hcmc are not willing to stay for that long nor are they willing to wait for that long and so that's why when we see news like this come out there are obviously going to be sellings you know this further kind of when it comes to a stock there's always good things about it. there's always bad things about there you know there are people spreading optimism there are also people you know spreading negativity and in this case you know when a bad news come out right now which in the short term is bad news because you know it's now meaning that the lawsuit will take even longer because they have to go through this process before they can continue the lawsuit and so this is going to take even longer so a lot of people are saying there is no more hope they're going to sell which you know without any other catalyst if it really truly does take a year and a you know a year and a half it is bad for hcmc because you know it is taking up the process uh, for a very long time so that is something we do have to be worried about in the, in the time and people may see you know opportunity costs whereas you know i could come back a year and a half after this is being sorted and right now i can use my capital other places so that's why they have been liquidizing hcmc and that's what, why we're seeing the price drop so the price drop is really coming from because how long this process is going to take people are not willing to stick with this process so they are selling you know one thing you gotta understand that hcmc is not um a stock that is on exchange it's an otc stock and not you know there are large individuals that are buying into HCMC and then, you know, there, there are some firms in you know, here and there who's also into HCMCs, but there are not any big hedge funds who are willing to hold on to HCMC for a long term. You know, when we talk about, for example, SNDL, you know, um, AMC, there was always big firms that have bought in into these firms that they're willing to hold for long. So that's why even when we see, you know, some sort of negativity, the big sellers haven't sold right now you know a lot of big sellers are kind of selling but because this is very you know retail investors um oriented when you see large selling you're going to see a lot of people kind of flock onto that selling as well so that's why we have been saying selling in terms of if you're worried about it or not you know again this is um i want to go back to that this is saying the longest it could take is within um a year and a half you know this may take even shorter than a year and a half this could take three to six months obviously i understand that some people may not be willing to wait three months six months uh, you know even less which is understandable however obviously um, you know everyone has different ways of kind of buying and investing into stocks i personally am obviously okay with waiting for a stock for a year more um but some people aren't and that's obviously okay and you know right now it's just um a conflict of two different people where some are obviously willing to buy into it and some aren't and so that's why we're selling selling and i don't think there's anything to be worried about and to talk about why i think is the good news why i think you know for the long term is good obviously with this selling um you know we will be having a better opportunity to buy at a cheaper price you know because of this selling prices are going to be going down now i doubt they're going to go down any further again i've always said that 0 0.009 is a very strong level and you shouldn't be worrying about that level even with this you know news coming out i ultimately don't think we're going to drop below that because i know people are still going to be buying it for you know eventually when that lawsuit does get settled there are a lot of buyers coming into hmc still in terms of why i think it's good news again um the reason why I say I think it's good news and, you know, this is all based on assumptions. However, I think this is something we should be thinking about. And that's because why would PM obviously challenge the validity of this um, patent infringement if they didn't think that it was very close to, you know, IQOS? If they know that this has no similarity, if they're very confident in the IQOS, then there will be, you know, furthering this process because by reducing this you know patent lawsuit as soon as possible they are obviously not in threat of anything they will be able to give more confidence to the investors you know you can think of it in perspective if you're investing into a company and there are a lot of people challenging the patents but you know none of them ever work out then you understand that the pattern that this company have is obviously very strong and you're more willing to invest into it and so you know it is in Philip Morris's best interest, as well as HMC, to obviously get rid of this lawsuit as soon as possible. But right now, PM are doing anything they can to delay, anything they can to kind of you know stop this process. So by challenging the validity, it really feels like it's the show of weakness coming in from 
um, Philip Morris. And so that is one, you know, that's a question one has to ask her about why would they be challenging the validity if they're super confident in their own products. And so I think in the in, in terms of in the good news is that it looks like right now HCMC does have the higher ground in terms of winning this pattern. One bad thing is obviously that we do have to wait, you know, um, a relatively long time now because of this whole process. Um, so for those of you who are willing to obviously wait, you know, you are able to buy in at even cheaper prices now. It's going down towards, um, you know, the stock offering price now. A lot of people are saying that, why is it now gone down after the stock offering? It seems, you know, fishy. I really think that the reason why it's going down is purely because of this fundamental catalyst. You know, had had nothing come out, had no news come out, whether good or bad, I think it would have continued going up or at least stayed in this range of 0 0.014 to 0 0.002 and, you know, more likely to be in the upper range because it has reversed the 50 MA, but because of this news, we are seeing it going down. I don't think there's any tricks people are trying to play in terms of the stock offering. I think it's very normal uh, for people to be selling when they know a process is going to even take even longer because, you know, the original idea of them investing into it was to obviously um, be on board with this process. And in terms of, you know, what I think the price is going to do in the future and in, in terms of like in the next few weeks, you know, with this sell-off, this sell-off is perfectly normal. I just think that we are going to be probably seeing, you know, the sort of action we saw here again, where it's 0 0.001 to 0 um, 0.0012. So we're going to be seeing this process again. We could potentially touch um, 0 0.009. That could be very possible. The 200 MA are going up, so that's why I strongly believe we're not going to drop below here. Right now, we have the 200 MA and we have the 0 0.009. So we're looking at, you know, strong supports all around. So that's why I'm very, you know, I'm not worried at all. We're probably going to drop and touch here. If we do, I think that is obviously the best opportunities to buy. I do want to say I'm not a financial advisor, so do take my opinions with a grain of salt. But I personally think that if we were to go down to kind of, you know, the 200 MA level is a very good level to buy. And we're just going to be staying around this level. You know, I feel like a month, uh, two months later, um, you know, when the, all the selling stops, we're going to be gradually seeing buys again. And I feel like, you know, it's very soon we're going to be testing, going back into this range again. And whenever, you know, the news are out, this validity, whether or not they're going to reduce, um, whether they're not, they're not, they're going to, you know, proceed with this process, um, would change a lot. If the office obviously says no, we don't want to do this process, then you're going to see HTMC going back to this price that it was before the sell-off, and that is pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Tell, comment down below what you guys think about HCMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. I'm going to that. Enjoy your day.